Hey everybody, Richie here from Rocket Chronicles, and today is January 25th, 2022. It's still cold outside, but not as cold as it was the other day. But that's okay, because I got stuff to do inside, and today I'm kind of excited because yesterday I got a package from Missile Works. Now, I've bought a lot of stuff from Missile Works uh, over the years, but again, I haven't flown a rocket since 2014, so I thought it was time to upgrade and maybe get some new stuff. And I still have all my old electronics, but I just thought it would be nice to have uh, some new stuff and more up to date. So let's get right to it. This is going to be kind of an unboxing and we'll check it out. So uh, Missile Works in Hawaii. I don't remember them being in Hawaii, but that's where it says it came from. And it says on their website to that they're in the Hawaiian time zone. So, okay, there's just a packing slip that came. Now, I, I did just kind of open this box and glance at it the other day, but I didn't really open anything up because I was in my car and I just wanted to, you know, wait till I'm home on the mat here where I could open stuff up. So. Let's take a look at what I ordered. Um, let me just read the order here first. So it says that I ordered an RRC-3. Uh, I ordered a 3D printed case for the RTX system. I ordered a 3D printed case for the M3 LCDT module, an LCD terminal, and an RTX RRC3 Bluetooth Master Module, and the RTX GPS Telematics Navigator System. So I think I, I think I kind of got everything covered there. But let's check it out. Um, I'm not going to power anything up today or anything like that. I'm just more or less uh, checking it out. So let's just unpack and see what's in the box here. So this is the 3D printed stuff. Um, let's just take a look. Flexible. I mean, it's not super, super tough. But then again, I don't think it has to be tough. And actually being flexible like that is probably good. Uh, I'm, I'm rough on stuff. So this is going to be, I guess... Try to do this quick. I got to be careful. There's little screws in there. I don't want to lose them and I'm going to leave those in. But again, this is um, a front and back piece for that. This was the front and back. And I see this has a button integrated into it. This says RTX bag. Used to buy a lot of battery holders. And I used the RRC altimeter. Uh, I always used those a lot. I had the original RRC, the RRC2. So this is a switch. I believe this switch is going to go into there. Not exactly sure yet where that goes, but I'm sure it goes somewhere. And we have an antenna. This looks like some important stuff here. And then we have Rocket Telematics 3D printed case uh, base case kit. That's going to tell us how to put that together. And this is going to be RRC3 Sport Altimeter, LCD Terminal Module, Bluetooth Master Module, and... This, I guess, is the RTX Rocket Telematics Quick Start Guide. Okay. I know you can download uh, this stuff from the website. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what's in the box. This says Bluetooth. Okay. And this is obviously... An RRC3. 
and that is the LCD screen. So let's just uh, now I did wash my hands first. I want to say that I learned a long time ago um, just working around electronic stuff. Uh, I also have white cotton gloves, but if you if you and I have them and I should put them on, but if you're out at the field, you're not going to have them on. But just always make sure your hands are clean because we have oil on our skin. So there we have it. I should have probably got my RRC2 out to compare it, but I can do that in another video. In some place I've lost my calipers, but that's okay. We can use this. Almost four inches on that. Yep, it's like four. Just, just about four. And the width... It's just about one. Like I said, I should have got the other one out so I can compare them. I'm sure a lot of people watching this video might already know. But this is this is really nice. Um, so now I'm going to put on my fiberglass gloves because I'm going to touch some unclean fiberglass. So this is an avionics bay. And we can. I don't have my sled... Uh, made up yet, but we can kind of see this is, you know, going to very easily fit inside of there. Plenty of room. You could run two side by side if you wanted to, back to back. I just wanted to have this out for reference. Got a nice ribbon wire here, ribbon cable, ribbon wire, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I when I before I purchased this, I read every bit of information on the website about these because I'm I'm not familiar with this system i'm fr i'm familiar with up to the rrc2 that's it uh, and i just so you know what i used to use was i used to use an arts and okay so i was kind of forced to go and dig up my old system so this was my old system and i'll do another video about that uh about this but I just wanted to show, this is what I used to use. I used to use, this is my main altimeter, which was an ARCH2. And I had my RRC2 uh, right there as a backup. And I have batteries. You can see this has been sitting a while. It's gotten really... And I used to use push-button switches to turn everything on and off. And this was, uh, for this particular rocket, I didn't use the gps but this used to mount on the back actually it was a different sled but this would mount on the back side and this thing took a pig of a battery in order to run it for more than like say a half hour to an hour so i had this big giant battery this was number 36 and then it also had this base station and this connected to your laptop or your computer and just to show you how long ago <laughs> this was it used a serial port, and I did have, well, well, that wire has no end on it, but I did have an adapter for USB. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get right back into this. So this is the little Bluetooth module. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to finish this video off. I'm just going to look at each thing, and then I'm just going to weigh them real quick. So this is a little Bluetooth module, which I'm sure in some way connects maybe not to that. And then we have the telematics, as they're calling it. I would call it a telemetry system, but telematics, I guess, is what we're calling it. Okay, so we have a little antenna. They had different options uh, that you could choose when ordering. I guess this has got some sticky tape on here. And very, very nice. Certainly is a lot smaller than the old system. A lot smaller so I'm really gonna like that and this one I'm assuming is going to be for the rocket I'm not quite sure they both say rocket GPS on them But I'm assuming the antenna goes on to this one. And this little patch antenna, I guess, is going to connect onto here, maybe. I'm just guessing without reading through the material. So let's just real quick get to... Now, when I was weighing stuff in a previous video, I noticed I have a hump in my table here. And I think that's what was throwing my scale off. Okay, tear it out. 31 grams. And let's just, for giggles, 97 grams so it's like three times almost three times okay 31 33 I guess maybe the difference is because of that and I'm really only interested in the weight of stuff that is going to be in the rocket. Let me just make sure I tear that. 20 grams. Now I can't weigh the RRC2 because it was on the sled. But there you go. Uh, again, just a short video I wanted to make of kind of the unboxing, what this stuff looks like. And just kind of a, a first look, I guess you would call it. Not really uh, that much of an unboxing. Because I got to actually go through, read everything. I read everything once. Uh, when I'm new to something like this, I usually read the stuff at least twice, if not three times. And then uh, I'll probably make a video of the ground testing of this. Because I know I did read through, I've already read through this uh, quick start guide when this arrived the other day. And in the quick start guide, it was saying, basically set it all up and then don't even install it in a rocket. Just go outside and get used to using this or if you have it hooked to Bluetooth. Because uh, the, the way I have this system kind of going to be set up, I'll be able to connect it to Bluetooth or I guess I can just use uh, this handheld so either way, and that's what I want to very familiarize myself with it, uh, just as I did the same thing with this system, you know, back in 2008 when I bought this, uh, I actually had two of these. 
one was destroyed in the Blue Thunder Cato in 2009, but I had two of these systems. I mean, I, I laid out a, at that time, uh, my budget for rocketry was pretty good, a lot better than it is now. Right now, I'm, even though I bought this stuff, it, it took me a lot of, um, a lot of saving to buy this. This was actually, this was actually purchased. This, what you see here today was purchased mostly from the tip money that I made uh, with my catering business last year. So my tip money was in, I, I always, people give me 50, they give me 20s, they give me 100, whatever they give me at the end of a job, I always fold it up and save it. And I do something with it, something for myself. I don't just throw it in the bank. Otherwise, you, you just, it, it was a tip. It was free money for the service that you provided. They liked what you did. And if you just put it in the bank, you end up paying bills with it or buying gas for the car. So I like to save it and I did. And that's what kind of paid for this. So anyway, I hope you uh, like this video. And if you did hit like and hit subscribe, come back. I'm going to get this all over the next couple weeks. I'm going to, cause it's so cold out. I'm going to get this all set up and working and uh, right now, I think I'm going to do another video. I don't know if I'll release it at the same time as this, but I'm going to do a video where I show some of my old electronics. Um, this was, check this out. This is something from back in the day. So this is phenolic tube, and I put this together myself, and this is actually an altimeter holder because sometimes I would travel around and I wouldn't have the altimeters mounted in the rocket maybe i needed the altimeter uh to use to move from rocket to rocket so i would make my own altimeter uh little cases and it's just phenolic tubing i'll show it in the next video and this was a public missiles this was a public missiles and i put the sticker on there i got my reference for my dip switches um or not dip switches but the little the little switches for the different altitudes and stuff like that so anyway hit like hit subscribe come back to rocket chronicles where i chronicleize my rocketry have a great day everybody